Hello everyone, I am Jack Lucent, and here we are again today in Minecraft. Today I'm going to be giving you a guided tour of my beloved Stalfaw Palace. This right here is one of the biggest and best builds I have ever done in survival. I went above and beyond to ensure that I had both comforts and beauty, both in my city and in the palace itself. So without further ado, let's begin. This right here is my bedroom. It's looking a little drab right now. I haven't done much to it. That's because I had just finished building this place. Uh, the shell, anyway. This right here is my little entryway for my bedroom. Not sure what I'm gonna put here. I wanna put plants, like, everywhere in pots. This right here is my solar slash study. I can keep an eye on the villagers in case something happens, or if my iron golem looks like it needs repair. I gotta keep a close eye on him. I'm gonna put my desk right here. That way all I gotta do is go back behind here. And then crawl on up to go back to my bedroom. This right here is an easy access point, that way I don't have to walk up a bunch of stairs. Because this place is huge. And I'm talking about the rooms. This right here is the throne room. I'm going to plan on putting like some blue carpet right there. Light blue. I want this place looking like... Hmm, I don't know. Kind of icy. I mean, it goes with the theme that I'm working on right now. <laughs> just, I mean, just look at my armor. But anyway, yeah. This right here is packed ice. That was not easy to get. I had a pickaxe with a silk touch. And I looted all this from an ancient city. Did I say that right? Yeah, an ancient city. And the amount of quartz I had to get from the nether? Forget about it. Moving on, moving on. This right here is the cathedral uh, slash church of sun and moon, where we obviously worship the sun and moon. I don't know, for some reason, like... IRL, I'm like <laughs> really obsessed with both sun and moon. But anyway, moving on, moving on. Oh, I looted a lot of this stuff from the ancient city. Ancient cities. I found five of them. And they were not easy to find. Uh. I guess just to show you the extent of this world, I mean, my, uh, palace, I'll show you how far off it goes. From this side all the way to the other side, it's perfectly symmetrical. I usually do my best to make everything symmetrical because I'm, like, severely OCD and everything must be perfect. Must, must, must. Must. Oh, that's just a mini room. This right here is where I'm storing my end chests. Like, I don't know. Just because I couldn't think of what I was going to do with that room. I mean, I'm obviously not going to turn it into a bathroom. That is a good idea. I need a bathroom. I ain't talking about the toiletry room. I'm talking about, like, bath, bathroom. Like, you can actually take a bath in. Alright, let's head on downstairs. I think this is the final floor. Yeah, this is the final floor. Um, Let's go in here. Alright, so this right here is my kitchen. I have another one on the other side. We'll consider that side the bakery. And this side, uh... I guess, deli. And this right here is my dining room. It could use a little work. I want the floors, like, to be covered in black carpet. This is where you come and get your food. <laughs> Somebody's obviously got to be cooking it, though. Uh, let's go on ahead and go this way. Alright, this right here is just an easy access point, so I don't have to walk all the way around to that side right there.
I thought I got rid of that. I had to uh, build my way up because I fell down a couple of times. Alright, so this right here is where I'm going to build a farm. I'm going to put a little uh, line here in the center, divide it. One side will be beetroots, carrots, potatoes, uh... Beetroot, carrot, potatoes. I think there's another crop that I just can't remember. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, the other side pretty much looks the same, except that right there is not a window, it's a storage closet. This right here is my favorite side. For some reason, like, uh, one side's like red, and the other side's like perfectly green. Like, the other side looks like a western ranch, while this side over here looks like, I, I don't know. A very, very fertile plain. Uh, this is both for decoration and actual use. Like, I'm going to be building paper, making cakes, all that good stuff. And maybe planting some more somewhere else. Now, this little flower right here was, oh, was very hard for me to find. Had to travel very, very far and wide just to find it. Uh, the story behind this was I was trying to make a beehive in this color using Dorite. Diorite. Dorite. I'm just going to call it Dorite. But yeah, I have to say it turned out beautifully. I put this right here, a pillar of <laughs> bees nests, just because. And I left a lot of holes in here so they can fly in and out. It looks amazing. And it's actually a lot of fun to watch them when I'm sitting up there high in my room or in this room right here while I'm farming. I swear, I don't like wolves in my garden. Yeah. A little harsh, I know, but they keep killing all the sheep that spawn here. I'm thinking about building a fence to keep them out. It'd be a different story if it was a dog. That was a wolf. And this right here was the room I worked pretty hard on. I couldn't quite come up with a design, like I built this the first time, and it looked so horrible, like I was sad. I had to destroy it, uh, I think it started from about right here, oh my god, it was so ugly, so small, so I added a few extra layers, and then I added onto it, and here we are, this is the final result, this is my Axolol Sanctuary. That's the brain coral I found. I only put the leucistic and the scion axolotls in here. I wish I could find one of those rare blue ones. But, you know, they're rare. Anyway, moving on, moving on. That's the storage closet I was talking about for those. I forgot to add torches to both sides. Last thing I need is a creeper sneaking up on me. Or a zombie. This side right here is the r ranch side I was talking about. It's very ugly. I, I don't like this color. It reminds me of, like, death and destruction and all that. And I don't like that. But anyway, this right here is my established mine. It goes all the way down to level negative 34. There's two mines, one at level 50 something, and then the other is like at level negative 34. 
This is my chicken coop. I wonder if there's any eggs. I want to try and like... Yes, I got one. Let's try it again. No. Oh well. More chickens. Uh, this is my sheep corral. I'm thinking about extending it out some, but I'm not entirely sure. I gotta be careful because like this, this right here, and wolves have been known to come to the other side, and uh, somehow manage to spawn or jump right inside of here and kill my sheep. Like they don't kill just to eat; they kill just to kill. This right here is my cows. I'll be using them for milk. Uh, you know, I'm just going to show you the rock quarry now. Because it's getting kind of dark. I'm starting to dig down and around. That way I can have it all leveled out and even. So I can fill the hole whenever I'm done. And if my audio is glitching in and out, I do apologize. The remote controller I'm using sucks. And is near death. And I will be putting it out of its misery very soon. Ow. Alright, so I'm gonna find a place to rest before I continue. I probably just still on the villagers' beds temporarily. I don't think so. Haha, <laughs> beat you to it. He's like, huh. Now he's happy because so I got out of his bed. Oh, this right here. I wanted to just say something about these. These are my beloved incinerators. I always have one every survival. That way I can throw away junk. Even if it's not junk, and I just don't want to use it. Okay, that right there is my nether port... Ne nether portal... <laughs> nether port... Nether portal hub. I have a hub there, connected to all my other ender portals. So far, I only have like three nether portals leading to three different directions. Because I have one built over there and way, way, way in that direction. But for some reason, it's connected directly to that portal. I don't know how. I mean, that one is so far away. But yet somehow it thinks the portal inside that one on the other side is... I, I don't know. I can't explain it. It's weird, but it does help me get out of that hole quicker that I dug. I built this right here. I'm going to be building a lot of these houses out of nether, uh, stone brick because I have a rock quarry right over there. That's just itching to be dug up. I mean, the castle's already finished, so do it up. This was a very fun build. This right here is uh, deep slate brick. I went and dug all of this from a end, I mean a nether city. No, not a nether city. Ancient city. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? Yeah, I'd, I keep wanting to say end city. We're just going to move on, but yeah. Nether, uh, deep slate brick. My goodness. These are all plots. I plan on building houses here. I have them carefully marked out on where I want them. I built this one right here in this style because I, I want to remember all the in, yeah, in cities that I've looted. And I've looted quite a few. So far I've found 17. And counting. But moving on, this right here. I tried to make a frog face, but you know. Easier said than done. No. Can you hear that? Oh, I thought I got rid of that. That's another one. I had to build my way up because I fell. This is my 
Frog Sanctuary. And it is my favorite area in the game, by far. I mean, look at this place, it's got so much life. It's like walking around in the jungle. That I got so many frogs. I love frogs so much. Can't you tell by my enthusiastic tone? Uh, I had one that was a different color. It was like a greenish blue or whatever. I guess it despawned. I think I kind of overdid it with the breeding though. But who am I kidding? You can never have too many frogs. But yeah, moving on. Oh, look how they walk. They're so cute. I think uh, the last thing I want to show... Is that a panda? Oh, I got excited. I was like, is that a panda? No, it's just sheep. Making sure there ain't no wolves to come by and eat my sheep. I like having wild sheep nearby. Oh, I looted a lot of these from different, like, uh, villages. Because I don't care about any village other than my own. And I will ensure that this village thrives. Like, to the max. I built this house right here, because I'm thinking about making it like a witch's hut or something. I don't know. We need more clerics, though. Let's see, there's one more thing that I built here. I'm trying to find it. Oh, yeah, right here. It's nothing big, it's kind of small, but it is a pier. And surprisingly, the villagers actually use it. And yes, I did buy this, because, I mean, build this. Build, not buy. Build. <laughs> you can't buy things here. Uh, I could have sworn there was like a secret job called the beekeeper, like, villager, but I, I guess I was wrong. Anyway, this is what my uh, cast looks like from afar. Isn't it pretty? Oh my god, the nether wart wood, warped wood was so hard to find. Like, I had to travel deep, deep into the nether, but once I found there, I did not leave until I had three shulker boxes full of that kind of wood. I lost so many good pick, I mean, axes that way. But it was worth it in the end, and it is beautiful. But anyway, that is all I have time for. I hope you enjoyed this guided tour of my beloved Starfall Palace. And like always, I hope to see you all again. And until next time, ciao. I'd rather be real in the shadow. I'd rather be the head with the halo. I'd rather be a voice and an action.